Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to wire a single pull grounding switch. These are the most typical kind of switches found in a house and they are defined by having one blade and one contact inside of them. Single pull switches have two brass colored terminals and one green grounding terminal. Switches screw into a gang box. There should only be one power source coming into the gang box. In our case, the power source will come from this cable that includes a black hot wire, a white neutral wire, and a bare ground wire. Since the conductors are 12 gauge, the cable coming into the box is called 12-2 with ground cable. Leaving the box, we have another 12-2 with ground cable which also includes a black hot wire, a white neutral wire, and a bare ground wire. The black wire of the power cable is called the line wire. The black wire of the cable leaving the box and going to the light is called the load wire. Since we have a metal box, I have attached a green grounding pigtail to it, which will serve to bond the metal box to the grounding system of the house. You must make sure the electricity is off while doing this installation. You can use a voltage tester like this Klein or this Fluke voltage tester to be sure that the electricity is off. First, I will hook up the ground wires. There are three ground wires in the box and I will need one grounding pigtail to go to the switch. This is a Wego 5 connector lever nut. Open four of the levers, put a ground wire all the way in the connector, close the clamping lever, put another ground wire in the connector, close the lever, etc. Push the wire all the way in the lever nut and clamp it shut. Now I'll put my pigtail in the connector and close the lever. This leaves one open space in the five connector lever nut. Push the grounds back into the back of the box. Now. I'll connect the white neutrals together. There are two neutrals, but I will select a three connector Wago lever nut so that I will have one space available for possible future wiring additions to this box. Put the wires in the lever nut and clamp down the levers. Push the neutrals into the back of the box. This leaves us with the ground wire, the line wire, and the load wire. This is a Leviton Decora Plus single pole grounding switch. First, I'll put the ground wire around the green grounding terminal in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. Now, I'll attach the black line wire to one of the brass terminals. I'll use Leviton's back wire system which is a very convenient, safe, and effective way to fasten the wire to the terminal. Tighten the terminal securely. Now I'll fasten the load wire to the other brass terminal. It doesn't matter which brass colored terminal the black wires go to, but they must go to the brass terminals. Tighten it down securely. This is the Leviton self-grounding clip. It serves to bond the metal box to the grounding system of the house. Since I've already accomplished this by using the grounding pigtail, I'll be using the self-grounding clip as a redundant method to bond the metal box to the grounding system. I'll also remove a paper washer to increase metal-to-metal -metal contact between the switch and the metal box. I'll put a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the terminals for extra safety. Push the switch into the gang box. You may have to give the switch a twist one way or the other to keep it straight as it's going in. Tighten the screws. I'll use the Leviton screwless wall plate. First, screw the back plate onto the gang box. Then just snap on the screwless wall plate. Now I'll turn on the circuit breaker and test the switch. As you see, it works perfectly. In my video description, I'll put links for the Leviton Decora Plus single pole grounding switch, the Wago 
lever nuts in two, three, and five connector sizes. Fluke 1AC voltage detector, which I think is the best one on the market for detecting a hot wire in a crowded box. The Milwaukee 3-piece insulated to 1,000 volts screwdriver set, which includes the number one ECX driver, which perfectly fits the terminals on the Leviton devices. And ideal grounding pigtails. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.